construction cronies good to see you good to see you hope everyone's doing well working safe this is a eight inch wall i'm building around these ducts to, to hide this duct work in this garage this was planned right from the very very beginning okay this is a 20 foot high ceiling here and it's a big garage here's the tools you're gonna need clamps square uh, some sort of shotgun. Those are the green tabs with the concrete pins for the 351. It's an impact gun. You got your uh, wafers there, self tappers and regulars, because I'm using light gauge 8 inch steel stud for this. You know, your regular pouch with your tools. You need uh, pencils, markers, tape measure, and um, your chop saw. If you have one of those, I, I like to I like to cut my uh, steel with uh, chop saw. Of course, you need your red snip though for any quick cuts or anything you need to do when you're up in the scaffolding. I'm doing this one all by myself, so the, doing these walls by yourself, the up and down, is always a pain in the butt, but uh, that's okay. Once in a while, you got to do it. And uh, the idea here is to check the duct, okay? You want to uh, check it in multiple places, okay? Check it high, check it low, check it everywhere, okay? So that you build the, the wall, you bring it out just enough so the drywall will pass it, right? You want the drywall to pass the duct and hide it and uh, bring it out on the bottom just like that. Okay, and when I mark my walls, I always go to the one inch, right? So for an eight inch wall there, I mark, I go to the one, I mark the nine. Same thing, you go out both sides um, of your wall, okay? You, you, you make your marks, you snap your lines, and you're uh, good to go, okay? Now, for something like this, because of the scaffolding, I'm going to go up top. And these are clips I'm going I'm to build because uh, the wall runs in between the two joists, okay? So I use a piece of wood or something like that to set my laser, right? Uh, you, you you can't really see it this time because the pin laser is in the way of it right now, but I, I plumb up the end of the wall because it's coming in <clears throat> on either end, and I always put a clip where the wall ends, and I like to put a little, you know, dot. You see right there? Okay, that's where the wall ends. I always put a clip where the wall ends. That's my stud height. While I'm up there, I'm getting my stud height. And, um, yeah, dude. Since the duck's in the way, now when I get the first side on, I go to the other side and shoot my lasers the other way, okay, so then I can get my top track on. Once that, that's all on, you shoot your bottom track in. I'm shooting two pins in every, uh, like, two feet on this one, uh, It's uh, or 16 inches even. Uh, yeah, it's 16 inches. Every two, every 16 inches, two pins. Uh, these are the concrete pins for the DX351. Got my studs layout. These are two-foot centers. And it's as simple like that. Once I get my studs all in, two studs on either end, I'm always putting my channel in as I go. Now I'm going to build a header across the bottom to add some more strength and some more backing for the bottom row drywall here, okay? Uh, the idea is to get as much steel as you can. I'm crimping the back sides. I can't screw in the back sides because uh, I can't get your drill in there, but just get a pair of crimpers and crimp the back sides, okay? It's, uh, it's a good practice to make sure that they're square and secure of some way, right? And that's what I mean. Like, I'm getting my channel in as I go. Remember the wall channel, and you got to build the steel just as tight around it as you can, right? You just you got to make sure the drywall will pass freely through it, and you're gonna hide as much of the steel as you can at the top. They're dropping a ceiling in there. We already built the ceiling. When do you see the footage on that one? <laughs> I should edit that video next. Building a header, okay? So I measure in between the two studs, right? Hard side to hard side. You see how I flipped the other studs? So the hard sides are both are facing inward. And um, simple as that, I add two inches either end for uh, like, you know, those little shoes uh, at right to the overall uh, length. So it's 15 three quarters. So I cut the whole thing at uh, 54 and three quarter and I put two inch shoes on either end using my line laser. And, uh, you know, you set your your I, I kind of checked where the line's going to hit the duct on the back side. So and then I laser it out and uh, set my my headers to that. Simple as that. It's easy to do the layout. You just measure in from the stud to the first uh, center for your uh, thing. Square everything. Right. Always square everything. Get your two screws in, in the header. OK. And like I said, you screw in the front, crimp the back. If you can't reach the back, crimp it channels all in it's beautiful right you guys notice how clean it was when i first started i swept everything i made sure everything was clean so that nothing would hit my scaffolding and uh, the wheels right i could move freely and it was uh, awesome you see how i'm extending the channel into the double stud on the end okay because that's if you ever want to clip it um you you want to you want to have that length in there you can clip the end so that they don't move so this way that i do it leave it floating like that the drywaller has to laser it in so here's before Right here's before, 
And look at that. Beautiful, right? We're trying to hide that duct in that wall. We took our measurements top and bottom. We see how far it came out. Boom. There it is finished. Right? See how, remember too, uh, I was screwing my channels together if wherever I had to. But yeah, solid. Access granted.